As you can see, this tiny dancer, Gianna Powell, is doing just fine now. But only weeks earlier, she was partially paralyzed by encephalitis, a viral infection that goes to the brain and can cause serious impairment, even death. Gianna's mother, Tammy Powell, was ready to do anything, even planning to go overseas for specialized oxygen treatment. I had figured we were either going to go to the UK to get treatment, or I knew there was a private clinic down in North Carolina. But Gianna and her mom finally found help here at the DMC's Detroit Receiving Hospital with its new oxygen-giving hyperbaric chamber. Gianna says she wasn't afraid of the process. But there wasn't any pain. No. It didn't feel any pain. It didn't hurt to go in there. Mm -mm. And it really wasn't. Is it scary being in there too or no? No. <laughs> Maybe the first time when you look at it, you'll be like, oh my, I'm going in that. <laughs> A little intimidating. Yeah. Dr. Bob Wilson is chief of the hyperbaric oxygen therapy program and chief of staff at the DMC's Detroit Receiving Hospital. We had a, a young girl who came in with encephalitis and the encephalitis hit her so hard that she could hardly move anything and within a few treatments of starting this thing she began to move, she began to walk. And after uh, she finished her treatments, she was able to tap dance, which is almost unheard of in people who have been paralyzed from encephalitis. That's incredible. Oh, it is, it's a miracle. It is really a fantastic thing. There's some patients in here now. Yes. The hyperbaric chamber is a non-invasive, painless, high oxygen pressure treatment used for a number of conditions and illnesses, including diabetic ulcers and other non-healing wounds, necrosis of soft tissue and bone due to radiation treatments, gangrene, and more. Inside the comfortable multi-person chamber, pure oxygen is administered at an air pressure two to three times higher than the external atmosphere. The patient's white blood cells increase significantly, increasing their opportunity to heal. Throughout the session, technicians have ongoing contact with the patient, ensuring a high level of comfort and accommodation. The results sometimes seem, well, almost miraculous. And although there are some things that we still don't understand about the hyperbaric chamber, the good news is it works. The body, when it senses an area that has no oxygen and an area that has very high oxygen, tries to build blood vessels from the very high oxygen area into the area that has no oxygen. It's a, we don't know exactly why that occurs, but the body senses that area that has no blood flow and tries to build new blood vessels down into that area that has no blood flow. And one of the main things that about it is that with this therapy, we can grow new blood vessels in tissue. We can make new blood vessels grow into tissue that have been destroyed by x-rays, been destroyed by atherosclerosis, and all kinds of things, and make new blood vessels grow in there and heal things. Her doctors were not sure if Gianna would ever walk again, but her attitude was great. And after the walker and stuff, I shoved my walker at my therapist and I said, I want canes now, I am done with that walker. Within a few weeks, the little girl was walking on her own, and now she's dancing again, too. Mom is thrilled with the DMC staff. We're so thankful for them. They've been wonderful. They, they took us, they embraced us. I'm not sure they believed at first that it would work, because nobody had. She's set a trend, but they allowed something that wasn't done to be done, and they showed it works. Visit us anytime at dmc.org to learn more about the hyperbaric chamber or to make an appointment with Dr. Bob Wilson and the fine team at the DMC's Detroit Receiving Hospital. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.